strands of your hair fly away from each other. At the same time, the strands also stick to your comb. In the activity on pages D28 and 29, which is what we just did, balloons you rubbed with wool cloth or plastic wrap attracted or repelled each other. Why does rubbing materials together cause these effects? Hair, combs, balloons, wool, and plastic are all kinds of matter. The word matter just means anything that takes up space has matter. You have matter, I have matter, the Promethean board has matter. Everything in it has matter. All matter is made up of tiny particles. Some of these particles carry bits of electricity called electric charges. Okay. I'm over in column two now, positive and negative charges. An electric charge can be positive or negative. So I'm going to draw a little bit on here. All matter has electric charges. Those charges, from what we just read, can be positive and I'll draw a plus or the charge could be negative and the sign you see there a lot is a minus. That's what it says next. A plus sign stands for a positive charge and a minus sign stands for a negative charge. A neutral object has the same number of positive charges as negative. So if something is neutral Say I'm going to draw a balloon that is neutral. It means that the number of positive charges and negative charges are equal. It's not positive and it's not negative. It's nothing. It's neutral. Nikita? Is there positive and negative on batteries? Yes. There are positive and negative terminals, we call it, on batteries. Good. So are they neutral because one side is positive and one side is negative? So no. No. We're going to talk a lot more about batteries, though, next week. Okay, paragraph two in column two. If negative charges, not still, no, 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 we're still on the same first page, just the second paragraph in the column. If negative charges move from one neutral object to another. The first object then has an overall positive charge and the second one has an overall negative charge. The pictures show balloons becoming charged. Let's look at the page, the bottom of the page there and take a look at what's happening. Under the first set of pictures where the wool cloth is, it says, rubbing a balloon with wool gives a negative charge to the balloon. What is the charge on the wool? Okay, so if the balloon becomes negative, okay, you see all the minus signs there? And it may have a few plus signs also, but there's more minus signs which means what is the charge on this balloon? Rachel? It's negative. negative. And our wool cloth, I want to know what is the charge on the wool cloth if the balloon is negative. So what happened is you rubbed this cloth on this balloon. Electrons from the cloth left, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say electrons, negative charges left the cloth and went to the balloon. What happened?
happened to the number of negative charges on the cloth? Did it go up or did it go down? Dylan? It went down. So I'm maybe just going to draw a few minus signs. What's left on this wool cloth then? Alan? Plus signs. Plus signs. What is the overall charge of our wool cloth then? Tyler? Plus signs. Plus signs, and we call that? Positive. Positive. Okay. This was our wool. Let's do the same thing, but now let's talk about the plastic wrap. Okay. This time, I have my balloon. And I have my sheet of plastic wrap. And you notice in the picture that the balloon all of a sudden has a lot of positive charges on it. <coughs> and maybe a few negative ones. What is the charge on our balloon now? after it was rubbed with plastic wrap. Kale. Tasha. Now the balloon is positive. But those positive charges came from our plastic wrap. We rubbed it on our balloon. What happened to the number of positive charges in our plastic wrap? Did it go up or did it go down after I rubbed it on the balloon? Michaela, it, it went down, so I don't have very many positive charges left, but I have a whole bunch of negative left. What's the charge on my plastic wrap, Victor? Negative. negative. So if my balloon that was rubbed with wool has a negative charge, and my balloon that was rubbed with plastic wrap has a positive charge, what do you think is going to happen to these two balloons when we bring them near each other? I'm going to draw that same thing over here, just spacing it out. Here was my wool balloon, and it was negative. A couple of positives. My plastic wrap balloon, oops, sorry. My plastic wrap balloon was more positive and a couple of negative in there. What do you think will happen when these are brought near each other? Vanessa? <coughs> They're going to attract. This balloon will come this way, this balloon will come this way, and they are attracting. Let's read on and let's see if we get any more detail about this. Personally, I think our explanation probably reviewed a lot of what's coming up in the reading, which is good. Lexi, question? 